Hello there, my name is Timelock, aka Caliborn. The videos you are about to watch are a shortening of VODs of when I played a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon ROM hack known as Explorers of the Spirit. I started this game at the end of March and finished it only recently. It's The people who created this ROM hack used a tool called Sky Temple, which has been used to like randomize the ROMs and uh, for people to create their own ROM hacks of the game. And this is the first full story length ROM hack of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. There are a lot of shorter ones that I've yet to play, and I have used the other Sky Temple tools to randomize ROMs, but this was a very unique and first of its kind experience. Take note that uh, when I first started the game, I was about three or four months starting testosterone. So you may notice as the videos go on that my voice drop started like after I had started the series. So my voice might be a lot deeper now than it was when I first started the game. Also take note that I hadn't quite figured out my microphone settings yet. And so hopefully my editor kind of makes everything sound you know, decent. <laughs> and even now, I'm, my microphone setup isn't perfect, but I will say that it's a lot better settings-wise, software-wise, than it was beforehand. That being said, I hope you enjoy the series, and there will be more video game content to come. So, um, enjoy! Let's start then. I'm trying to remember what I set my keys to. This is a freely distributed ROM hack. Team EOTS does not contone any sale of this work. Welcome. This is the portal that leads you to the world inhabited only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. Did you play Explorers of Time, Explorers of Darkness, or Explorers of Sky? Yes. Do you think it's always important to aim to be the best? Mm, no. Do you think blaming something you did on someone else is sometimes necessary? Um, uh, no way. You have a really important test tomorrow. What do you do? Oh, I wing it. I'm sure I'll be fine. You discover a beat-up looking treasure chest in some ruins. What do you do? Open it. Have you ever thought that if you dug in your backyard, you could find buried treasure? Um, I mean, when I was really little, yeah. Are you truly sincere when you apologize? <laughs> That's not easy to admit. Have you ever said nice to meet you to someone you've met previously? No, because honestly, I don't meet a lot of people. <laughs> You're running a marathon, and at the start, you fall flat on your face. What do you do? I'm not giving up yet. Are you male or female? Male. And now your aura will be analyzed. Your aura is the energy that you radiate. Relax, calm yourself. And now press your fingertip gently on the bow. Yep, this is me, pressing my whole fingertip up against my, uh, totally a DS screen. Your aura has been identified. Lift your finger from the touch screen. Your aura is... Ooh, a stately silver. I love gray so much, it's my favorite color. Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the brave type. You don't know the meaning of fear. You're not afraid to keep moving forward in the face of danger. You also have a strong sense of justice and can't turn a blind eye to someone in trouble. But you sometimes push your own personal sense of justice a little too hard. Be careful that you don't get too pushy. So a brave type like you will be a Pikachu. Yeah, I, I decided that uh, no matter what I got, that I would play as it this time around, so... And finally, who will be your partner? Choose the Pokemon you want for a partner. Okay, this is the one where I'm not sure. Hmm, Eevee might be good. Honestly, Eevee would be really cute. But Meowth Pikachu is really cute. Pikachu Volpix is pretty good too. Um, Honestly, let's go with Eevee. And her name, I'm gonna base it off one of my partners, so... Let's see here. Okay, that's it. You're all ready to go. 
you're off to the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Chapter 1. A Storm at Sea. What? Ah! There is no escape! Ugh. Where? Where am I? I can't. Drifting off. Hmm. No. I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. Today, I'm going to be brave. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Eevee's. The footprint is Eevee's. Ah! That shocked me. Ah. I can't. I can't bring myself to go in. I vowed that I would do it today, but... I thought that holding on to my personal treasure would inspire me. Yeah, I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. Hey, Zubat. Did you get a load of that? <laughs> you bet I did, coughing. That little wimp that was pacing around. That's some good, right? That wimp had something, that's for sure. Looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. Wow, what a beautiful sight! When the weather's good, the Krabby come out at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles reflecting the setting sun off the waves. It's always beautiful. This is where I always come when I'm feeling down on myself. But it makes me feel good to be here, like always. Coming here heals my spirits. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? Ah! Someone has collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? Ugh. You're awake! Thank goodness. Where... where am I? You wouldn't move at all. I was really scared for you. Do you have any idea how you ended up unconscious out here? I... I was unconscious? What happened? Anyways, I'm Xavier. Uh, happy to meet you. And who are you? I don't think I've seen you around before. Callahan. Since we did kind of off-brand their name. So, your name Callahan? Yes, my name's Callahan. But... I don't remember much else. Even my body feels unnatural. What? Unnatural? You look like a totally normal Pikachu to me. It- it's true. I've turned into a Pikachu. You're a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? No, I, I don't know how this happened. You're telling me the truth? Okay, well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon at least. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see? A lot of Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. It's just not safe anymore. 
Whoa, look out! Ah. Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> Can't figure it out. We wanted to mess with you. Can't face up to us, can you? What? That's yours, isn't it? Oh, that's... Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. Ah! Ho, ho, ho. Not gonna make a move to get that back? What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> no. What should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... No, there's no time to waste. I have to get it back. Say, can you please help me? No. Oh, you won't help me? That thing is important to me. If I can get it back. No, please, please help me get that treasure bite back from those guys. Oh, what should I do? We don't have any time to waste. Let's go. But you can't just... That's my precious treasure. If that disappears, then I'd... Please, please help. But I have no memory. I know it's difficult, but hurry. It doesn't matter if you have no memory. You can still help, please. But, but I'm sure I was... Ah! It doesn't matter. You can still help, please. <laughs> okay. Really? <laughs> You'll really help? I guess. Thanks. Huh? Yeah. Whatever that was. Head first, stay where he is. Go attack enemies by pressing A. Yeah, yeah. We know. We know how to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Nope. Oh, hello. I can't use Thundershock on you. Thank you, Xavier. Oh, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. You go, you go, you you do it. Okay. We are a little bit in danger, but we're fine. We're fine. Kind of boring floor. Where's items, huh? Ugh. Another one of you. Thank you for the Oranberry. It feels so good to have Thundershock right now. <laughs> This is already a pretty easy dungeon, but you can tell that they kind of, you know, they went in, went to make it harder, so we're just doing really good because we have an electric type move. Feels good, man. Oh, come on, whooper. I don't want to fight you. You're so mean. You have the silly ground type, which means that I can't hit you. Ooh, owie, owie. Okay, owie, owie, not cool. Let's, let's go ahead and eat this. Why not? <laughs> Blast Seed. That will be helpful next time I see a whooper. Well, speak of the devil. Get out of my face. Get shocked. Level 7. Let's go, team. I love that they changed the uh, critical hit to be red. It really stands out. It's kind of cool. Okay, well, how's that supposed to help you against the power of Zeus himself? Whoa. Sleep seed. Another blast seed. Another blast seed. Let's keep this sleep seed. Alright, Xavier, let's get out of here. Um, hey! Well, well, if it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. Yeah. Gimme, give gimme give back what you stole from me. That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? Could be worth more than we hoped for, I'd say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows, it might get a good price. <laughs> All the more reason not to give it back. You can't. If you want it back that badly. Come and get it! <laughs> Alright, this should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. But I am gonna go ahead and throw the sleep seed at coughing. Just, you know, just because I can. And then Zubat, you are done for. <laughs> Massive L, bro. Oh. Well, that was mean. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> she keeps getting paralyzed. Well, that could have gone better, but you know, could have gone worse. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, we got wrapped up. Blast it. I get wiped out by wimps like them. Ah, here you go. Take it then. Oh, don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, you just remember that. What a pair those two are. Do they have no shame? Oh, it's my relic fragment. Hey, goodness. I actually managed to get it back. This only happened because you helped me, Callahan. Thank you, Callahan. Thank you very much. I only helped because I happened to be there. Was that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. That's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment, it's my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territories, veiled in darkness. A new lands just waiting to be discovered. Such places must be full of golden treasure. And history! Would it be dramatic to make historic discoveries? That's what I always dream of. It's all so exciting to me. And it just so happened that I found this relic fragment. Sure, it does look like junk, but... Take a closer look! Ooh, sorry for yawning. Ooh. Look there. See that strange pattern inscribed on it? It's true. There's a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. There must be some meaning to this pattern. This relic fragment must be the key to legendary places, to areas where precious treasure lies. At least that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something, somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice, but I was too cowardly. What about you, Callahan? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory, and you somehow transformed into a Pikachu. Do you have any place where you can stay? If not, can I ask a big favor? Would you form an exploration team with me? I think we could make a good exploration team together, Callahan. So, will you do that with me? Please? Oh, what should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue. I don't know what an exploration team is. I was hoping to hear a bit more from Xavier. It's hard to make a confident decision with so little information. But it seems that Xavier won't let me wait that long. I'm being put on the spot. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon and form an exploration team? Let's go ahead and just say form a team. It's true. I do have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Xavier for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. Oh, really? You'll really form an exploration team with me? Hey, thank you! We're going to be a great combination. Let's make this work. First, we need to go to Wigglytuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we can get the training and become a proper exploration team. I think the training will be very tough. So let's give it our best, Callahan. And so... Xavier and Callahan formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Spirit. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Meanwhile. <clears throat> Master Dialga. Dialga. I have something I want to ask. Earlier, when we did not disappear, you said it wasn't a miracle. But was it thanks to you? No. It was not me. I don't have the power necessary to stop you from disappearing. However, a being higher than myself, 
that being's power could have done it. This was surely that power at work, I believe. And so, I must express my gratitude. It's wonderful that you've returned to the world returned the world from darkness for me. I'm truly, truly grateful to you and the ones who stopped the planet's paralysis in the past. Your friends. That, that's right. We we are still here. Callahan, you too. I hope that you're safe as well. If you didn't disappear either, are you still alive? And Xavier, you... The fate of the Pokémon in the future, when you changed history. My fate and that of Callahan. I expect you'll find out later, but right now you're... What are you thinking? The wind! The light! If you can carry my message, please send it to Callahan and Xavier. Thanks to you, the future has been freed from darkness. And we, and the other Pokémon in the future, are safe! We didn't disappear! From now on, we're going to combine our strengths and rebuild this world. For Celebi, who has supported me all this way, after this... Above all, we are still alive. Chapter 2, The New Guild Recruits This is Wigglytuff's Guild. To form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you'll have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Yikes. Isn't this place just a little bit odd? It just is. No, I've got Callahan with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Eevee's. The footprint is Eevee's. Ah. No, I can't lose it now. You may enter. Someone's with you, so get that stranger to stand up there! I think they mean you, Callahan. They said to stand up here. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so that no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. Looks like it will tickle my feet, or... Hey, you, stranger! Get on the grate! Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is... The footprint is... Um... What's the matter? Sentry? Sentry? What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? Um... Uh... Um... The footprint is... Maybe Pikachu's? Maybe Pikachu's. What? Maybe? But uh, it's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Ugh, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon? That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but I don't know what I don't know. What? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true that you don't see any Pikachu in these parts, but you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter. Yipes! I'm so nervous, so jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Anyways, let's go. Wow! So this is Wigglytuff's Guild. There sure are a lot of Pokemon here. Do they all belong to exploration teams? Excuse me? It was you two that just came in, right? It, yes. I'm Chatot. I'm the Pokemon in the know around these parts. 
I'm Guildmaster Wigglytuff's right hand Pokemon. Now shoot, leave the premises. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off you go, if you please. No, 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 that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. So we came here. We want to get proper training as an exploration team. A what? Exploration team? It's rare to see a kid like this want to apprentice at the guild. Especially given how hard our training is. Surely this steady stream of Pokemon that fled away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. Excuse me. Is the exploration team training that harsh? What? Well, no, 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 no. It's not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as can be. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me up front that you wanted to be an exploration team. <laughs> what a shift in attitude. Okay, let's get your team signed up right away. Follow me. Oh, anything wrong? Come on, over here. Quickly, please. Say whatever you want about Shadow. Voice acting him is very fun. <laughs> this is the guild's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is this way. Come along, please. Wow, we're two floors underground. You can see outside. Oh, please, hush now. The guild is built into the side of a cliff. It's only natural that you would be able to see outside. Oh. Now, here we are at Guildmaster Wigglytuff's chamber. On no account, I repeat, on no account should you be discourteous to our guildmaster. Guildmaster, it's Chatot! I'm coming in! Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join our guild as apprentices. Uh, guildmaster? Um, Guildmaster? Hiya! I'm Wigglytuff, I'm the guild's guildmaster. You want to form an exploration team? Then let's go for it! First, we must register your exploration team's name. So, tell me your team's name. Oh, our team's name? I didn't think about a team name. So, what do you think would be a good name for us, Callahan? We are Team Cherubim. Cherubim? Team Cherubim. I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect for us. More than you'd believe, Xavier. I'll settle then. I'll register your team as Cherubim. Registering! Registering! All registered! Yuta! Congratulations! From now on, you're an official exploration team. I present you with this in commemoration. Wigglytuff set down a Pokemon Exploration Team Kit. Pokemon Exploration Team Kit? Yep! It's whatever an exploration team needs. Quick, open it up! Xavier opened the Pokemon Exploration Team Kit. There was an explorer badge inside, and a wonder map, and a treasure bag. Yes, there are all sorts of great items in here. That's your exploration badge. It's your official team identification. And there's the wonder map, which is a wonder of convenience. Finally, there's the treasure bag. It lets you carry items you find in dungeons. Your success as an exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. That's a very wonderful bag. Have a peek inside your treasure bag. Xavier peered into the treasure bag. The zinc band was inside, and a silver bow. Those two items are special. I'm sure they will help you on your adventures. So thank you. We'll do our best. Yep, but you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train. We will. Let's always do our best, Callahan. Ah, so cute. This is your room. Hey, we get beds! You will live here while you work for us. Things will start getting busy for you tomorrow. So rise early and start living up to our code. Don't stay up late. Get to sleep early tonight. That is all. Say, so, are you still awake, Callahan? My heart's been racing all day, but I'm glad I finally forced myself to come here. I thought Wigglytuff would be kind of scary, but he was pretty nice. We'll experience all sorts of new stuff starting tomorrow, but I'm not very frightened. Actually, I can't wait to find out what new adventures are in store for us. I'm getting a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, Callahan, sleep tight. Aw, oh, the Eevee sleeping sprite's so cute. 
Now I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, I'm not quite as excited to be in an exploration team as Xavier. Still, it feels good to have some direction. First things first. Who am I? How did I turn into a Pikachu? How did I end up unconscious on the beach? I'm feeling sleepy, too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I'd better focus on the guild's work for now. If I do that, well, everything should become clear eventually. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in time. The sun is so beautiful, Grovile. I could admire this all day. What do you two think? Duncan and Duskinor are gone! They said they were traveling back to Temporal Tower, remember? That sounds somewhat familiar. I must have been mesmerized by the sun when that was said. Celebi, I have been thinking about something. I want to try and find Callahan and Xavier. I would need to use the passage of time. Will you allow that? You're trying to leave again already. Huh, but I understand. You need to know if those two are okay. You were so close to Callahan especially. It doesn't feel right to stay here without them. You need closure. Am I correct? Exactly. I'll see what I need to. Then, find my way back here as soon as possible. I will hold you to that promise. I can't believe that I'm about to do this. The next morning. Hey! Hey there! Rise and shine! Ugh, my head is pounding. What a ridiculously loud voice. It almost blasted my eardrums. Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Ugh, my poor ears. Come on, snap out of it. I'm Loudred, and I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it! Guildmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper. If, if you wake him, lose it. Howie, that would be one very scary scene. I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. Fish. So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late. So get it in gear. Ugh, my ears are still ringing. What did he say? Something about getting ready? Er, oh yeah. We're signed up as apprentices at Wigglytuff's Guild. That's right. But that means... We totally overslept. Come on, Kelly. You're late, rookies. Hush. The voice is ridiculously loud. Huh. Everyone seems to be present. Very well. Let's conduct our morning address. Guildmaster, the guild is in full of headcounts. Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. <laughs> Psst! Guildmaster Wigglytuff never ceases to amaze me! Yeah, you got that right. Well, looks like he's wide awake. His eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take our Guildmaster's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers all together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three, one, don't shirt work, two, run away and pay, three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! What did I get myself into? <laughs> hey, you shouldn't just be wandering around there. You two come here. Oh, all right. Man, I haven't played as a Pikachu in so long, I forgot how cute the sprite was. You're just beginners. We'll have to start you off with this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep. I'm not sure why, though. It's been so sudden. The guild has been searching for that reason as well. Because of this recent outbreak of bad Pokemon, we have noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, 
and it's unknown if this is a related issue, there have also been a mouse outbreak of mystery dungeons. Mystery dungeons. So, Callahan, you know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half your money. You can even lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. But every time you go inside one, there's always new things to discover. They really are fantastic places to go explore. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs all take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah, yes. Maybe this will do? Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. An outlaw has run off with my most prized possession, my precious pearl. That pearl is life itself to be. I just can't seem to settle down if that pearl isn't in its proper place at all my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It's said to be on a rocky bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I could never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team members. From Spoink. Wait a second. We're going to fetch an item that someone dropped. I'd rather go on a bigger adventure than that. I'd rather look for treasure, explore unknown places, things like that. Hush! Eh! It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now, pay attention. I will repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if either of you faints. You'll lose half your money, and you could lose half of your items or more, so you best be careful. If you've understood all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Ah. This must be the bluff's entrance. Spoink's mission description said the pearl is deep down on the B7F level. It's supposedly very dangerous. Let's be really careful. Let's do our best, Callahan. Don't worry. Like I said, I've got the power of Zeus on my side. Okay, you are bug poisons, so. Ooh, you're a bulky little guy. Ooh, ouchie, ouchie. Oh, that was a crit. Um, Zav, you go ahead. Yes, thank you. Ugh. Uh, yeah, sorry. Ooh, okay, never mind. Oh, we got a heal seed. Um, boop. Eat that. Oh, come on, honey. Okay, I'm going to throw this rock and miss. Okay, come on. Throw. Okay, those guys are dangerous. <laughs> we might want to just chill somewhere and heal. Oh, please don't have silver wind. That would be so bad. <laughs> This ROM hat couldn't possibly be that mean, could it? Another heal seed, that's good. And nothing else in there. Alright, cool, cool. Oh my goodness. So I see that they changed the typing in here to be... Uh, to be bug. Oh, not Thundershock. You. Good, good. Okay, um, thank you. Like, all you needed to do was attack. Uh, uh. <laughs> Good job, Xavier. A new move, huh? Sand attack. Um, that would be better than Tail Whip, in my opinion, because Eevee would be better off just using Helping Hand to make me stronger. And Thundershock. Oh my god, no! All you had to do was hit! Uh... 
That didn't happen. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Another orange good. And another orange good. You uh, stay away from me. Uh, keep buggies. Actually, I love bugs. <laughs> I love bug type Pokemon and I love bugs in real life. Hey, hey, slow down with those crits, okay? We don't need to be doing more damage than normal, all right? Unless it's me, of course. Hi there. Face the Wrath of Lightning. You should also face the Wrath of Lightning. Big Apple. Eat Apple. Make not be hungry. Thank you. Ugh, this guy. I'm gonna run out of freaking Thundershocks. Hi there, buddy. I have two Thundershocks left. Isn't that so cool? That's actually really bad. I have one Thundershock left. Can we find a Max Elixir pretty please? Hey, tutorial! Hey, tutorial! Hey, don't you wanna- Oh goodness. The parade has arrived. That was the wrong Caterpie! Where is this Caterpie? That better be it. There it is! The nectar of the gods. Give me that. Those are the stairs. Let me check down here. Hi. Oh my goodness! Can we not do that, please? You know what? Whatever it is in that room is not worth it. It's gonna be nothing, I bet, actually. So, who cares? Okay. We only have to finish up this floor. And then the next one. And we're almost done with a dungeon that should not have been difficult, but apparently, uh, is. Alright, last floor. I see you. I see you over there. You bug. You, you little guy. See? It's always worth it to check. Except when it isn't. Just tough it out, Callahan. Oh, over there! This has to be Spoin Spurl. Quick, let's take it back. Oh, th thank you. That pearl must be propped on my head, you see. Oh, I missed it so much. I just couldn't settle down without it up there. So I was just boinging and sproinging everywhere. That's why I'm covered in digs and bumps. But thanks to you, that long nightmare is over. You have my sincere thanks. We got a protein, we got a calcium, and we got an iron, and we got 2,000 poke! Incredible! Oh wow, 2,000 poke? We have all this money? Of course, of course, that's nothing compared to my pearl's value. Farewell! We're rich, Callahan. All of a sudden we're rich! Well done, team! Now, hand that money over, if you please. Excuse me? Most of the money from jobs goes to the guildmaster, you see. And your team's share of the money comes out to... This much. Huh? We keep only 200? Is he serious? This is ridiculous. That's not fair. Well, that's the guild's rule. You simply have to accept it. Ah. Uh. You waited until after we joined the guild to tell us this? As guild apprentices, you two have access to plenty of exploration team resources. It's a great deal for you. What if we just don't give you the guild's share? Well, in short, you will absolutely be removed from the guild. If the past is any indicator, you will carry a bad reputation for the foreseeable future. Nobody wants to hire a team that the guild gave up on, so good luck on finding any jobs after that. Do you understand? I hope that Team Cherubim will choose to persevere and continue training with the guild. Everyone, thanks for waiting! I finished making dinner! Come on, dinner's on! Yeah! Ah, I'm done eating. Excellent meal.
I'm stuffed, and now I'm getting sleepy. Yep, I'm off to bed. Good night, gang. Good night. Say, hey, Callahan, today was pretty hectic with everything we went through, wasn't it? But I'm glad our first job turned out so well. I was really mad about how Wigglytuff's guild took most of the money. That's just the cost of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. We could leave the guild. On our own terms. I don't know if I can do that. I mean, the money situation is rough. But what made me really happy today, though, is getting thanked by Spoink. The job was so fulfilling. I know I want to become a great explorer. Let's try to stick with the guild. At least for a little bit. Maybe that is my best idea. Xavier probably isn't planning to leave anytime soon. Where else would I go? What else would I do? Ah, I'm getting sleepy. Ah, I'm going to sleep. Let's try our best again tomorrow. Sleep tight, Callahan. Chapter 3. Justice. That's different. The next morning. Up and at him. It's morning. Ugh, good morning, Callahan. Well, that was fun. I hope that anybody who watches it anytime likes my voice acting. <laughs> I really like giving all the characters little voices when I play these games. Um, thank you so much for watching, whether it be in the past, the present, or the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.